If you're interested in opening and funding a self-directed IRA at Equity Trust, here's how to get started. A self-directed IRA is a tax-advantaged retirement account with the flexibility to invest in real estate, tax liens, notes, private lending, and many more alternative investment options, in addition to stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. For most accounts, all you need is a signed application, a copy of your driver's license, and a method of funding. The most common methods of funding a self-directed IRA at Equity Trust include out-of-pocket contributions, transfers, and rollovers. The first option to fund an IRA is with an out-of-pocket contribution. Assuming you or your spouse earn taxable compensation for the year, you can make a contribution to your IRA from your personal checking or savings account or with a credit card payment. This funding method is subject to maximum contribution limits set by the IRS each year and may vary depending on the account you select. Equity Trust requires a minimum contribution of $500 to open a new self-directed IRA. The second option of funding an IRA is with a transfer. An IRA transfer is when you move funds or assets from an existing IRA to a new IRA. The funds or assets are transferred directly from your current financial institution to Equity Trust by completing our account transfer form. It's possible to complete a full or partial transfer and it may also be possible to transfer existing stocks, bonds, or mutual funds your IRA holds, in addition to cash balances. Provide a completed application and transfer form to Equity Trust and we'll work with your current provider to complete the transfer request. In some instances, you may be required to initiate all or part of your transfer with your current custodian. The third option of funding an IRA is with a rollover. A rollover involves moving funds from a qualified plan, such as a 401k, 403b, thrift savings plan, or other qualified plan, to an IRA. A rollover typically occurs when the account owner receives a personal distribution from their previous employer or current provider of their plan, and then deposits it into the new account. This process is started by requesting a rollover from your previous employer or current plan administrator, along with instructions to send the funds to Equity Trust. Your current plan administrator will provide the documentation needed to process your request. After receiving the distribution, the account owner has 60 days to deposit or roll over the funds into a new account. It may be possible to request a direct rollover where your plan administrator makes the payment directly to your new account. Contact your plan administrator for instructions. As with transfers, it's possible to do a full or partial rollover. It's also important to note that you are limited to one rollover within a one-year period. This limitation does not apply to direct transfers from one IRA trustee directly to another. Check irs.gov for more information. One common question people ask is, do I have to pay taxes when transferring or rolling over funds or assets? As long as you follow IRS transfer and rollover requirements and are transferring between like accounts, you're not taxed when transferring or rolling over funds or assets from your current custodian or previous employer to an IRA. Rollovers and transfers are an important financial decision that should not be taken lightly. Please consult with your tax attorney, CPA, or other financial professional before making any financial decisions. Now you know the three commonly used methods of funding a self-directed IRA. If a self-directed IRA is right for you, give us a call to get started at 855-673-4721 and we'll help walk you through the account open process.